Welcome to another National Compressor Exchange video, how to. Today's video, we're gonna discuss installing an electric unloader head on a hot gas bypass head. This would qualify for either the 06E or 06D carrier or Carlisle compressor. So first but first, you have to recognize when you're dealing with a hot gas bypass head because the hot gas bypass head looks like this configuration only and only has an available entrance to do any work on the head at the 12 o'clock position looking at the head. If you have something at the six o'clock position, you are not dealing in hot gas bypass. So starting with hot gas bypass, if the head was on the compressor, what you first need to do is remove physically the plate that is factory installed that holds the system in full load. And I'll show you how to do that now. First off, you have to start loosening each one of the Allen screws and then remove them completely. Now please note that as you're loosening the Allen screws, there is pressure on this head because there is a spring underneath this head putting pressure and holds <clears throat> the current piece that's inside in place so that the compressor will stay loaded all the time until you install the unloader. Now I'm going to release the pressure and you'll see the head rise up. This piece you're not using again for this application, so you set this to the side. The spring is no longer being used either. You had set that to the side. You take one of the Allen screws and you take it <clears throat> after you've removed the gasket and get it out of the way. You screw into the center piece and remove the existing piece that's in here. And this is what would have kept pressure on the compressor at all times. Make sure that the white <clears throat> Teflon gasket comes out with the shaft. First things first, what we have to do is set up to put the uh, electric unloader head mechanism on the hot gas unit. So what we do is you have the, the uh, unloader assembly here and you have to remove this clip right here, the C-clip, which goes right there. Okay, so we're gonna remove that first. Once you have that removed, you now take the metal gasket that comes with the kit, okay, and you slide it up and place it, okay, right on the unloader assembly. Now, it's only going to line up one way so that all the holes will, will line up. Once you have them lined up, you reinstall the clip on here, okay, and then once that clip is on, you take the entire assembly and you place it on the compressor, sliding it into place. It will only line up one way and one way at all. Once you have it in place, you get the small washers that come with the kit <clears throat> and you take the screw using the washer also and you screw it in place. Okay, we do that with all three screws <clears throat> and obviously you need one washer for each of them. Once you've placed the head correctly, and there's only one way to place it correctly because these uh, Allen keys on top are not equidistant, so you have to have it the correct way. You should have the tab of the gasket sticking out of the head straight at you, and then the other ones will line up here, and you start to screw these in, making sure that you've made sure you put a washer underneath each one of the Allen keys. Drive this down, and what you're looking to achieve is 12 to 16 foot-pounds of torque on each one of these. If you use the metal gasket that's provided with a kit, you will require no oil whatsoever to form the seal on here and you actually please do not use oil at all. If you're using a fiber gasket for some reason on this application, what you wanna make sure of is that you coat it with a little bit of oil prior to the installation and then you tighten all of these down. And now this is set up to accept the, mo the uh, module for the top of this to do electric unloading for hot gas bypass. 